going to the top of this theater, you can see the Golden Dome, Notre Dame's campus. We had to walk all the way there. This is brutal. Yeah. 89 years old. Every every time he comes here, the last song he sings, standing right on the edge, no microphone, sold out house, 2,500 plus people, yeah. everybody can hear him. Wow. Just him, no band. No one. Every time. It's awesome. That's crazy. Yep. So I'm going to close it. Yeah, the golden. <laughs> you lit up on the stage from up here. So the, people, so the guy that will be blinding you will be up here. <laughs> and no worries. This yep. is where the sniper sits in all the movies. So in, in that door, if you if you've yeah. never seen the top of the building or anything like that before, this is this is the part of the building oh. that goes out over the top of the. Over the top of the whole, you know, where the dome yeah. is and where the netting is. Yeah. That's the whole rotunda there in the middle. And wow. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's cool, man. Wow. And then this is the only place in the whole building like that that you can actually pee and poop and see beautiful South Bend. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, give me a shot. Right, film it. I got to do both. Just like. Just go, just go. <laughs> Tom. Just say something. Yeah, see. He says you can hear. I know, but we can hear you actually perfect. Oh, yeah, no, is it cool? Like, we don't have a PA today, so this is going to be fine, right? I mean, this is. Sing something. This is more than fine. We can just hear Tom from right there. Tom's not Tony Bennett, but something. It's as close as we got. Yeah. The big guy I bring right there. Pure dominance. Hello, everyone. Out there. Whatever he does, he leaves it out all on the stage. Or leave something out there. And since then, I've actually brought him out tonight. This is the guy that saved me that day. Huh? All right. So th this is not the guy. Uh, yeah. No, that guy's in prison. Of course this is not. This is uh, Dr. Richard Kimball from The Fugitive. So... It's, <laughs> no, that's Michael Clay. That, that was all a big joke. That's the guy I started comedy with when I started, or whatever. I know it's all confusing. We thought it'd be very funny. And we're on a tour bus too much and we're like, we should just bring you out as the prisoner. I just looked at his face and I was like, dude, people would believe that. And y'all so believed that he was like that. No one even batted an eye. They're like, yeah, that guy looks like he's been in prison for a long time. So you just come barrel in, just like, all right. You're like, just feeling what's good. What are you guys doing in here? Like, oh, well, we've done all the jokes, Mike. Now it's just a sad room. <laughs> Where have you been? Did you get the star of the show? Michael Clay there? Michael, how do you feel about your performance? Dr. Richard Kimball from The Fugitive. Go ahead. I'm not sure how I feel, because I fit the role of just getting out of prison. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing. We tried it tonight. Say I bring up a prisoner and they applaud Michael with not question that he has just got out of prison because that's what he looks like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, hey, how are you guys? Hey, uh, this was what yeah, I needed. I had oh. a rugged week and I needed wow. to laugh my head off. I so we do. That's awesome. Yeah. Little questions come up when you Google stuff like that? Like, how big is Kalamazoo? Is Kalamazoo safe? And I was like, oh, that's funny. It is, right? I clicked on it. I was like, it is one of, it has like the crime rate of like 150% higher than the rest of the United States. Like one All in six right. people have Kalamazoo. experienced some sort of crime. Like, 
Wow, really? If we, if we don't have crime happen to us, I think we would be offended. I mean... So this is Kalamazoo. All right. We look like a... Like an old boy band that's trying to get back out on the road. <laughs> like just... Like all of us had our all of us had our heyday. <laughs> Here's our manager right here. Yeah. The boys back together. It's the Joe Jackson. He's making a killing off this. We're getting ripped off completely. We're... <laughs> this is off. Awesome. Spread these out. Like, really? Yeah. Yeah. I think last night just too long and made it too confusing. Where if it's like obvious, you know, and then you stand there and go. Yeah, I mean, he looks like he could be in pretty, you know. I don't know if the Richard Kimball thing is funny because that's. They laughed, yeah. though, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, it was funnier after the tags and stuff. But, like, so it's. Uh, yeah, I think we'll have to. Tonight we'll do it. Would you do it? Yeah. A little bit quicker. Ah. Would you walk across? Just at the top. Yeah, I, I would walk across. I don't know if I would. I mean, if I was like. Strapped in. How high is this up that ladder? Yeah. I don't know, man. I think you get, I think right here you go, I'd go all the way, I'd touch the thing, but then I think once it starts like moving around a little bit, you'd be like, I'm not doing it. That'd be good. You sit up there like Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'd be That'd be pretty funny. But look, even bringing you out tonight on stage. Yeah. That could be funny. Kind of nod to everybody. I can't even wave. <laughs> yeah, that could be pretty funny. You walk out and Ricky walks behind you. Yeah. <laughs> Ricky, I think he's a little too serious. <laughs> he's walking your head, his head on your head. <laughs> <laughs> he's controlling, man. Yeah. Kind of he's got a Billy Club. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Trying to figure out how much to give you for your mic. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, it'll be just, I mean, you know, here. It'll never be more. He goes back and forth more. I, I go, I, I go pace. Side side more. So okay. I'll, I'll come back to like here the most, and then you know, put in and come to you. I pace forward and back. I should start yeah. pacing. I, I do. These <laughs> axes would be because I might try to walk sideways tonight. Okay. So I just would go to the. I would just go <laughs> I'm just playing on that. I'm gonna try. We'll see. I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean. All I ever do <laughs> is stand here and I pace. <laughs> Back and forth. I do pace. Maybe I do this little Chris Rock. Not as far as Chris. This will be very uncomfortable. All right, we're going to have him walk Michael out in handcuffs tonight and then watch the crowd. They think I'm bringing a real prisoner out. Did you bring your handcuffs? He's got the handcuffs. <laughs> and I do have the key. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, yes, I, I did bring my key. Uh, we, yeah, we did want to make sure. I kind of hoped he wouldn't bring the key, but that's that's fine. Does this not look like Dr. Richard Kimball from the movie The Fugitive? <laughs> It looks like me and the other crowd, and the crowd's late to the show. <laughs> like we're all late to the show. <laughs> Too much coffee. You don't time your coffee out right. When you get up there, you feel like a little, like your knees shaking a little bit. And you're like, this is not good. Well, you need a cliff bar, but they don't spot me. That's what it looked like, is like, when I need something before my show, I need a cliff bar. Guy climbing a rock. I'm doing the opposite. Yeah. These ain't props. Something <laughs> happens. You just hear Mike's pin, the, the key just go dig, 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 dig. Oh, God. And by randomly, I can put this together. I actually brought him here tonight. Here he comes. Yeah, I got him here. And to be fair, he's not completely. I know. He's almost on parole. But he, we still have. All right, this, no, this is not real. That's not real, but that's like how much, that's my buddy Michael in handcuffs. We have real handcuffs on him, and that's our bus driver, Ricky, who has handcuffs. Just has them. He has a lot of stuff.
And Michael does look like he could have been in prison. Uh, I mean, look at him. That's a 2 a.m. bus ride decision to go. That's where you're like, what if we handcuff you and I'll bring you out? That's, when, that's how that decision happened. It's like, yeah, we should do that. And Ricky's like, I'll do it. I got handcuffs. We're like, this is all coming together. 